So we're going to take a quick look at how to format essay questions for the post labs. It's very important that we do that. So, well, I'll just choose any old experiment here. I think I'll go into Ohm's law. And I'm going to find my particular class for post lab. Oh, let's say here I'm in section nine. And I'm going to log in. So here's an example. Summarize the experiment from purpose to procedure to analysis and do so in a paragraph of less than 100 words. Um, so uh, as I'm typing, I need an alpha squared. We don't want you to say alpha caret 2. No. OK, instead, use uh, use the formatting toolbar took bar <laughs> toolbar all right and to do that we're just gonna look for an alpha so I find the alpha down here in these tools and it's gonna put some text right here and highlight it for me so all I have to do is copy it to my clipboard and paste it in now when I hit preview down here it's gonna open up a window that allows me to see what the instructor is going to see and it says alpha All right. now I want to do squared so I'm gonna just choose my selection there and go into x squared when I click x squared it puts text here copy paste but then notice it says edit this so I'm gonna put a 2 there now this goofy text right here is just HTML okay and so is this we don't really care what that all says just when we hit preview does it look proper and here it says alpha squared okay now I'm gonna close this box the word count is actually counting spaces so it's looking at one two three spaces and it found 17 words okay a word about the word count if it says less than a hundred words um, you could probably answer this in 50 words we don't want you to go over 100. If you have 102, the instructor will probably be okay with that. But 150 means that you are not learning to be concise with your answers. So remember two things. Be very concise and be precise with your language. There are your tools that you can use. Some of them are more extended, like the superscript and the bold and the underscore and the italics. And others are just the word itself. And as you get to use these tools, you'll see kind of how it works. And some of you will have a mind to just start, start typing these things yourself. But please make sure that you always hit the preview so that you can see what the instructor is going to see.